fuck you mean you ain't heard no fuck? Next one. And them dollars made my spidey sense a ring a ring ring And that booty on that thotty made me spring a spring spring Then I took her to my pad, made her sing a sing sing First she asked me for a thing, now she clingy cling cling Then she lost it, but she threw it Boy, you hella saucy, did you screw it? Wonder what it cost me I threw some shoes in, ice be on my body I'm never bruising, hey, yeah, four flights, one month Bitch, I'm from the future, catch this baby going bees Won't she hit me with the nudie, with the nail class Find me triple snipping on my scooty Suck your head, man, cause you know your mommy is my tutor I'm a tall man, why she trying to give me talk, man Rubber band, man, can you toss it off? Let's rain, man, rain dance Thinking of the air with the goofy thought No chance, love getting money, call a romance Yeah, you sexy boys, are you hungry? I see you trying to buy my sound, but it sounded kind of funky And them dollars made my spidey sense a ring a ring ring And that booty on that thotty made me spring a spring a spring then I took her to my pad, made her sing and sing, sing First she asked me for a thing, now she clingy, cling, cling Then she bossy, but she threw it Boy, you hella saucy, did you screw it? Wonder what it cost me I threw some shoes in, ice be on my body I'm never bruising, hey Hey, let me break it down. I got a bad bitch trying to jump my bones in a booty round. Hey, you see my whips on fleek. Yeah, pink flames, pink fear. Baby is a treat. Yeah, of course I'm eating all my stuff. All right, so gamers. We are live. Go ahead and make an arena. Sin and CNC 5v5 crew battle. Nifty go lifty. Okay. Go ahead and make the ID real quick. Oh, Rupes, wrong game. Baby's got the German coochie, really made me scream. So I'm up just through the world and grab a bag, I'm really keen. Yeah, really on that goofy shit, but ain't no Charlie Sheen. Hey, sexy boys, are you hungry? I see you trying to buy my sound, but it sounded kind of hungry. And them dollars made my spidey sense a ring a ring ring. And that booty on that thotty made me spring a spring spring. Then I took her to my pad, made her sing a sing sing. First she asked me for a thing, now she clingy cling cling. Then she bossy, but she threw it. Boy, you hella saucy, did you screw it? Wonder what it cost me. I threw some shoes in, ice be on my body. I'm never
Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get into things. First up, we got Blake coming in for S for Synergy Burst. I'm gonna keep calling him SRN just out of habit. First up, we got Blake coming in from Synergy Burst. Blake is rocking that purple Luigi. Getting a connection error already. That's not good. It didn't look promising there, but we do have the default Mewtwo. It's gonna be coming out from Sumi, however. So already we see Luigi versus Mewtwo. Now this is probably a matchup. Of course, Luigi likes getting in close, but something you'll notice that's a little bit different about Luigi versus Mewtwo is while Mewtwo likes to space, Luigi does want to be up in close. Luigi wants to hit that grab, wants to start getting off his big combos. That's what Luigi's good at. Already an F-Smash from center. And Zumi doing a great job going off stage with that ledge cancel teleport into the spike. Doing a great job keeping the opponent at bay, keeping Blake away. Of course, Luigi wants to play the up-close game. Mewtwo's not afraid to space, and Mewtwo has good tools to help zone out the opponent. Shadow Ball at ledge, gets the side beat, goes for a disable. This could be a kill confirmed. Yes, right at 60. Mewtwo is so light. 14 to 14 is the score. Already we see both players being able to take a stock. And their crews down tied 14-14. Here's the grab at low percent. That's what Luigi's good at, but he drops the combo, but gets a run up up air. Follows, chases down the dash away by Zumi with the up tilt. Zumi is able to retaliate with a grab and a back throw. Now we see an offstage situation. Zumi rolling to center. But Blake rolling right past him, hitting that F smash, popping Zumi off stage. Zumi going for the cheese there with that lant with that falling uh, disable there, looking for a stun. That would have been a cheap and early kill. Oh, right there. Blake with a great idea, using the iframes on the down B to try to weasel his way through, and there's a kill with that back air. He's able to tries to get through with the the uh, the down B there using the invincibility, but. That side B on Mewtwo is a command grab, and it sets up to that wonderful offstage situation. 13 to 14 is the score. Blake is down on his last stock of the entire crew battle. Ooh, and an unfortunate SD. Looks like a miss input there with that up air instead of the up special. He's tied 0 to 0, so a dead even game. And you know, right now, it almost like Luigi has the advantage. Here's a grab at 0. Gets the Zare. 0 to death? Oh! <laughs> The Luigi special, man. Zumi is going to go out for CNC. Blake staying alive with that crazy comeback on the crazy combo. CNC is down to their second player. Blake stays in with one stock. Of course, Luigi likes getting in close, but something you'll notice that's a little bit different about Luigi versus uh, Mewtwo is while Mewtwo likes to space, Luigi does want to be up in close. Luigi wants to hit that grab, wants to start getting off his big that's what Luigi's good at. Already an F smash from center.
Okay, now we're back in for game two here. We've got the purple Luigi staying in alongside that red Yoshter. They're coming in with the Yoshi from Extreme Extreme Rohit? Extremer Hit? Extremer Hit? I've I, I'm been trying to figure that name out, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see. First off, we're going to get those SDs to start, of course. Blake, of course, down to his last stock. And Extreme going to be coming in with three of his own here. Yoshi versus Luigi to start. Both taunt and already. We see the beginning of the game, and this is where Luigi is at his best. He gets the grab. There's the Zare into the combo. Oh, but the double jump armor mashing the double jump out of it. Great awareness by Extreme, knowing that his character has that special way to break the combo. Blake into a ledge guarding scenario. Falls down with that down B. Interesting choice. It does have some super armor, if I remember correctly. Gets the down throw. This might be a kill confirm. No, again, that double jump out. Able to just super armor away. He's not able to get the right hitbox either, so it's not going to have the most powerful hit. Just one little coin falling out from Luigi's hands there. Charges the F-Smash, able to get a quick gimp. Can we see a runoff stage? Oh no. Extreme playing very conservative, holding onto the stage. Jumps, gets the Luigi Cyclone. That's 112 on the Yoshi here. If Extreme loses a stock here, he will let Blake come ahead with a positive stock differential. It's not what he wants, but oh, misses the shield break and then misses the grab right after. A bit of spaghetti there. Reads the roll and is able to cover it with a running forward air. Shields it, goes for the grab, but not quite. Lands with the down air. Okay, what's going to happen next as Blake recovers to stage with a neutral getup, then rolls and takes the stock. Sus DI, it looks like, from Extreme, taking his stock count down to 2 and his team's down to 11. However, he's not out of the woods yet. He still has to take a stock. Even though Blake is now at a really high percent and he himself is low, it's looking a little rough right now if he's not able to close this out. He tries to run off stage with a forward air, looking for some kind of gimp. Blake with a positive differential now, able to take more stocks than he can lose now. Nice snipe right there with the egg. However, the up to recover will hit. Good roll by Extreme, knowing exactly what to do. Or excuse me, good roll by Blake, knowing exactly what to do against that. However, the rising back air will take Blake's last stock. 12 to 11 is your score. Synergy burst slightly ahead by just one stock. The ultimate aim is to produce sound which is completely acceptable to the listener. Records to give you pleasure.
Okay, going to go back into the swing of things here. Faster Than Miles is going to be coming in from Synergy Burst. He is playing the Mega Man. Okay. Mega Man coming in. Small Battlefield is the stage choice. Extreme going to go ahead. He's going to SD his first stock. Don't worry. He's got to do it as part of the rules. And already we come back three stocks to two. Miles has a little bit of an advantage here as far as the game goes, but he wants to take as many stocks as he can before he loses any of his own for the sake of his own team. Right here, he's going to use the blaster. I love the way he's using that to control the space already over the course of the game. He hits that down, or looks for a down smash, I should say, but good lucky shield coming out from Miles. Just a little bit too slow on the down smash there. That could have caught it if he just hit the button a little bit earlier. Extreme jumping back to stage, going high, landing with that back air. And now here's the double jump. He lands into the egg, but misses the up smash punish, so there's no extra. Uh, damage put on after that command grab jabs out of the leaf shield and now we see a little bit back to neutral back to pokes good jab to keep the opponent off of him looks for that early spike trying to get a cheesy early kill but not quite enough extreme will jump back to center to his benefit while miles is doing a great job zoning with the mega man extreme is doing his best to just counteract that and staying towards center stage making mega man approach to him and that egg will kill Poor mash by Miles is going to cost him the stock there. He's not able to come out of that egg quite quick enough. A run-up back air will launch Extreme off stage, and he uses the egg before he uses his double jump. A little bit of a mix-up there, and also allowing him a projectile as he goes to recover. Now, take, take a look at this. We see Extreme in the corner. He's trying to find a way back, and he looks like he's trying to fight his way into center stage and get some stage control returned using his projectile. However, it only works a little bit. An up smash out of shield after that mashy jab will punish from Miles, and he gets caught with that long-reaching F smash. Extreme is down to his last stock and his crew's 10th. Miles is still having two stocks left to play with and 11 on Synergy Burst, with so a slight lead for the Synergy crew right now. Nair out of shield, and with that up air, excuse me, up B, Extreme just looking to space, and a side B, you don't see that move very often, oh whoops, sorry, you don't see that side B move very often, but that's going to come out, breaks the combo, and gets a hit, every now and then, I guess you, even the worst move in the game can have a use, right, tries to get a shark on Gimp that recovery with the downer, but not quite, no hitbox on recoil, sadly, so, <laughs> not going to get hit like you would if that was Sonic's up B, and again, back to neutral, looking for some projectile hits, down, Excuse me, down special coming out from Miles, and he catches it. Is it just time to 10 minutes for next game? You got it. I can definitely do that. Already looking like we're going to see a Gimp here. Nope. Well, almost looks like he's looking for a two frame with that down tilt, but I don't know how much good that does him, even if it hits. Although, without a double jump, Mega Man can find it hard to come back from certain angles. Lands with a back air, and now Ma and now Extreme is put off stage. And he retaliates with a back air of his own into the Yoshi Bomb down B. 10 to 10 both players on their last stock of the crew battle. It would be great for CNC if somehow Extreme could find a way to get his way in here, take four stocks in total, and actually put them in the advantage coming into the next game. We'll jump into the full, so full hop into a down B that is going to knock Extreme back off stage 47 to 100. Not undoable for either side. Looks for the aggressive spike option, but an air dodge coming out from Extreme. Keeping himself alive. If he didn't air dodge there, he would have been spiked. Landing back here. A little bit of a lag spike, but doesn't look too bad. And the neutral air to Gimp. He does not have a double jump. Oh, he, yes, he did. Never mind. Here comes the grab. This should be a forward throw or a lot of pummels. Oh, the Yoshi cheese. Check that out. Yoshi should have a frame advantage after a mash out of his grab, so if he just holds the A there... Oh, but the long-reaching F-Smash will check him just slightly. Miles, by the skin of his teeth, able to come out with a victory there. Scaring his team a little bit, it looks like. But Synergy Burst, able to keep their lead by one stock. And Extreme is eliminated.
Закрой глаза, все постепенно, и тебя тут никто не заменит. Утро подарит нам это мгновение, и холода за окном не помеха. Пока мы здесь, в теплой постели, волосы волнами по твоей шее. Касание трепетны и безмятежны, мы, видимо, нашли то, что долго хотели. Здесь нас не найдут проблемы, только ты и я в этом мире. Время застынет на этом моменте, все, что имею, я отдам тебе. Пальцы сжимаются крепко-крепко, это все, что нужно мне. Готов убежать за тобой на край света. Чтобы еще раз по-новому все повторить Между нами тает лед Пусть теперь нас никто не найдет Мы промокнем под дождем И сегодня мы только вдвоем Между нами тает лед Пусть теперь нас никто не найдет Мы промокнем под дождем И сегодня мы только вдвоем Между нами тает лед Пусть теперь нас никто не найдет Мы промокнем под дождем И сегодня мы только вдвоем Между нами тает лед Пусть теперь нас никто не найдет, мы промокнем под дождем, и сегодня мы только вдвоем. голос твой, он как будто колыбель, я обниму тебя, чтобы не стало холодней. Курточка моя так хорошо сидит на ней, ты открыл глаза, как блики в играх NBA. Я делаю навстречу к тебе шаг, чтобы от всех с тобой убежать под нашими ногами. Зимний шар между нами сегодня пожар. Наплевать, что вокруг метель с поцелуями, как будто карамель. Температура, как жарко, мы как только между нами. Но с тобой это значит, что мы не будем спать, беру тебя. И профессионально иду гулять. Я надену свой костюм, тебе так нравится велюр. Ты нашла злого Юру среди самых лучших Юр. Я устраиваю рам, ты ставишь шаг и маты даже и не Шоколад. Он как медведь, руками поедает сладкий мед. Мы смотрим на него и между нами тает лед. Между нами тает лед, пусть теперь нас никто не найдет. Мы промокнем под дождем, и сегодня мы только вдвоем. Между нами тает лед, пусть теперь нас никто не найдет. Мы промокнем под дождем, и сегодня мы только вдвоем. Между нами тает лед. Пусть теперь нас никто не найдет, мы промокнем под дождем, и сегодня мы только вдвоем. Между нами тает лед, пусть теперь нас никто не найдет, мы промокнем под дождем, 
И сегодня мы только, вдвоем, только вдвоем, только вдвоем. Мы только вдвоем, только вдвоем, мы только вдвоем. Мы здесь только вдвоем. Okay, we're right back into it. Abysmal going to be coming in for CNC. Miles staying in on the Mega Man with just one stock remaining as the last player in for uh, Synergy Burst. So already we see 10 stocks to 9. Uh, Abysmal coming in with all three of his. Miles down to his last single stock. And real quick, we already see the zoning. These are two characters that kind of like to play a little bit of a projectile game. Don't necessarily have to approach, don't necessarily want to approach. Of course, Mega Man is definitely better at camping than Ness is, but and that can't overlook PK Fire, can't overlook PK Thunder in the right scenarios, just different ways the character can use to keep himself away, especially that ambiguous movement, the way Ness can just dart back and forth while he swats at ghosts. <laughs> Every opponent that doesn't exist, just trying to find something. Ambiguous PK Thunder, making it look like he might rock it away, but instead, that, how, that down B will catch the startup on the PK Fire, so no PK Fire to come out. Will be hit with the leaf shield. Miles holding the safe platform pressure, knowing not to commit. Great, I great play, great idea. Staying away there. Safe forward air pressure by the Ness. Abysmal, keeping himself away from the opponent, giving himself time to think, while getting in some damaging and possibly combo starting safe pokes. All right, we're here into tech situation. Miles with a very smart dash away, and 
a very smart use of the neutral be throwing it up instead of outwards upon realizing that Abysmal is holding out his reflecting F smash. Good lead coming out from Miles already, taking a little bit over Abysmal's nest as he forces the platform situation now. Catches the Mega... the Mega Blade, I believe is what that's called? Metal Blade, excuse me. Nothing will come out of it though, he hits the PK fire, and again, another Metal Blade. Grabs Ness and back throws him off stage, and upwards, forcing with the Metal Blade, forcing a low recovery, and Miles is free to go for that charged F smash. Great kill. Recovers high this time, and Abysmal is forced off stage to come back. While he does have a percent leech, he does not have advantage state right now, nor does he have stage control. I'll take it back, but he wasn't able to keep that little bit of stage advantage he has. PK fire onto shield, nothing will really come of that, and a double roll by Miles, not even attempting to contest or trade with that down smash, staying safe and away. Miles with the diagonal pressure now from the Metal Blade, forcing Abysmal to keep the top platform. Abysmal is down below, just trying to find something while Miles is doing a great job just zoning him out. That's the first hit uh, Abysmal has had with probably in the last you know 10, 20 seconds or so. Miles starting to get a huge run. Looking like he has Abysmal's number, and it's too bad he only has one stock because this looks like a game that Miles could easily take had he had all three of his stocks. Grabs the Metal Blade off the ground, a little bit of a mix-up there, and gets the throw! A great run-up grab, the mix-up. Abysmal forced to recover now, 107 to 130, both characters with decently strong kill power, Ness especially. Looking for ways to get one hit, a grab there definitely would have confirmed into a kill, so unlucky that that was a dash attack, not a grab. But Susty Eye on the Thunder, that will kill no zoom in screen. Abysmal able to keep his stock, luckily. Be bad if he lost that. The second one, 8 to 9, faster than Miles, is eliminated. Synergy Burst with a small lead coming into the fourth game of the battle. I swear on God, you're on my book shit. This shit's so wrong, baby. Is that my, is that my voice? Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Cool. B5, four, thump. I'm a hump. On a bump. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with And She calling me the muffin, man. I surely like the muffin top. No. Let my lashes. I can't pick yo. It's either tits or some masses. Blue cover glasses. Please don't be so hashy. I'ma pull up on the 30 all the way from Kansas. Whoa. Yeah, I think I need a teaser. If she be a pleaser. Baby needs a squeezer. Anybody leave her. She trying to buy my dick. And you whiting on my style. Is your name Sharkeisha? And you like the Mona Lisa cause you was a fake No reason why I went to school, numbers on the pay But there's several vessel ways to get the money and those skates Got your booty really about the case, she looking like an easy bag Leave you covered up and couple nerves, what you say? Went to school and cop a go your purse for my sake Please don't tell me you gon' pipe it first, not okay Money at the end, I'm coming first, on the leg Drippin' like a school On a four with school Baby gonna school She funny with it, cool I'm a hump on a bone, Jack and Jill up a hill, baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb, I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin, man, I surely like the muffin top. Muffin top, muffin car, so I don't want to stop. Got it on the lot, with this baby in the fly. Sexing all these rappers, I just let it slap, chop. Feel had a hard right behind my desk, stop. Huh. Whoa, baddie, why she praying up to me? Ho, ho, gotta give her when you're on your knees. Oh, no, sick and tired of doing shit for free, yo, bro. I'm a voice, bro, is that you? Gotcha? Don't you like it when these diamonds look like respect? I'm a little closer, sexy boy, and then scratch. Keep a little henny, that's the cause and defect. Baby, no money, did his money, let me quit. Let's big bag, price tag, get your bag, okay. Don't break, cocaine, red flag, no way. Big bag, price tag, get your bag, okay. Don't break, cocaine, red flag, no way. Ripping like a hundred drinks, cool.
Right on back into the smooth things. We're going to start off, of course, with the SDs. Uh, Synergy Burst is putting in Leaf, their crew leader. They will be coming in in replacement for Miles, playing the DDV against the Ness here. Kind of an interesting matchup. I wouldn't say this is one I would necessarily want to put a DDD in for. This is definitely a matchup I think that is in Ness's favor. However, who cares about matchup? It's not really that big a deal, right? It's the neutral. Neutral B and pressures into the spacing with the Gordo. Leaf already putting out some of his better spacing work and just able to run around some of uh, Ness's poor hitboxes. It's the PK Thunder. Ooh, but here comes a PK Fire. Now, DDD is very big, and that makes him a big target and an easy target for a lot of Ness's PK Fire thingamadug thingamadoos that he does with all of his different hitboxes and noises and fires and everything else that this character likes. So already we see the adaptation from Abysmal pulling ahead on percentage, although that doesn't mean much. Stocks is what's important. And both characters, of course, don't really struggle in terms of kill power. DDD launching straight off stage with that upwards Gordo, but no Gordo yet. It wasn't all the way off stage, so there won't be one in the pressure from Leaf right here. Ooh, looks for the yo-yo at ledge. A, save, a roll coming out from Leaf, barely keeping him alive. Things are just about a millimeter away from death there. Oh, but he catches it. Almost looks like a two frame with that F smash there. What a great stock. Taken on down from Leaf now. We do see um, seven stocks left. Left on CNC. And Abysmal's very last stock. The back throw should kill. No. Good DI. And of course, DDD is a heavy guy. He's going to be staying alive for a lot longer than most other characters will. Reflects the up B. That will do 30%. He's been hit twice and he's at 50. That's insane. Gets the Gordo. Here comes the Reflector. Looking like a mix-up. Might have wanted to have a B reverse there on that neutral B to send that Gordo over at a different angle, but not quite. Wasn't the way it worked out. Will get the Lint. Looks for a rising forward air, but that's very unsafe on shield. Oh, but gets hits with a PK flash, but good DI able to stay alive. I thought he was dead there, actually. Already, and now we see the back airs coming out from the DDD leaf right here. Now this is where DDD starts to fish a little bit. He's looking for a way to kill. Reflected Gordo. DDD's now at 200 and not dead yet. He's still swinging. However, that forward air will catch. Will take one of Leaf's stocks. We are down to 8 to 7. This is the current game score of the whole crew battle in total. One stock left on Abysmal, and he is at 100%. But these Mashy, Mashy, that's going to be a stock. Oh, the reversal. The Mashy, Mashy dash attacks won't work out. Great reversal from Abysmal, keeping his team alive and tying up the score, preventing any disasters from happening. Gets the up B, oh, but a good tech, and he's dead! He didn't hit ledge, he's dead to that, no way! Abysmal is eliminated. CNC is down to six stocks left, that's just two players remaining. Synergy with two players in the back and one stock left on Leaf. Great game by Abysmal, able to take two stocks before losing his one. Very scary. GG's abysmal. Well done.
whole crew battle in total. All right, ready to get back into the swing of things here. We got Leaf and Shizoli. Six stocks remaining on da -da -da -da, CNC. Sorry, I couldn't remember the crew name. Seven remaining on Synergy Burst. We do see Leaf coming in with the DDD and the Bowser coming in from Shizoli, the player from CNC. Very interesting that we see a heavy ditto already. <laughs> Fun to see. You don't see heavies too much in this game's meta anymore at all, so surprised to see a ditto, especially between arguably the best heavy and arguably the worst. DDD will sit on platform on Kalos, looking for some kind of Gordo mix up there with this inhale. I appreciate it. I respect it. And now Shizoli will go low. Ooh, reads the jump there, knows what's going to be happening, but Shizoli aggressive with the neutral air and hitting exactly what he needs to to avoid getting a stock deleted by that down B. Is caught with the very tipper end of that up B, and Leaf will roll back to stage. But we see an up B out of shield on the Agordo there, so already we see an even game, very close already. Both characters, however, are heavy, so gonna be a while till they can kill. I wouldn't even really consider this kill percent yet for either character, unless they hit something crazy. Ooh, back air though, that's a very strong move. That considers something crazy. Landing up, excuse me, landing back neutral air into the back air conversion, but DDD's heavy, gets the zoom in, but not enough to kill. We'll pressure the ledge with the fire. That's 152 on DDD. This back air will take it though. 6-6, six to six, tie game. Shizoli stays in for CNC, evening the game score all up. And Leaf is out for Synergy Burst. And we will wait for their next character to come on in. Well done to both sides, GG's.
Okay, right back into things here. We're going to start off of the start on that start window, so there's no... Ooh, say start three times in one sentence. So there's no taunt to start because both players are starting at zero. And here comes the grab at zero. Uh-oh. Not able to commit on that last up B, so there won't be a kill or any crazy combo finisher, but that's 73% on Bowser. Of course, Bowser is super heavy, so 73% <laughs> to him is about 40 for some other characters. 90 now on Bowser. Going to recover low with that up B. Hits the up B out of shield. 73 to 91. Now, both these characters are pretty close ranged, and both of them are fairly grapplerish type. Punish on the whiffed side B with the tipper of that F tilt. Gets the down throw. Tries to come right into a kill. That will take the stock from Shizoli. Ta, keeping all three of his, taking the first blood of the game. She's only looking for a read there, and here's the grab. That This is going to be at least 60%. Is he dead? Whoa! Zero to death! No way! The Lugie zero to death in a crew battle. you got to be able to SDI, man. If you don't SDI that, you are going to be looking at some stocks lost. Roll, get up, gets the grab. Is this another one? Is this another zero to death? Runs up! Two in one game? Two in one game! No way! Three stock victory from Shaw. Very well done. Eliminating Shizoli from the crew battle. Taking CNC, just three stocks remaining. Well done. Hey you guys, as we get into the last bit of the crew battle here, I just want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, appreciate you guys, I do have fun streaming, I stream for fun, so thanks for tuning in, appreciate ya. If you like it, I'll be happy to stream crew battles for you guys in the future, so it's fun, thanks for letting me do this, I appreciate it. I'll hide myself now, I know you want to watch the game, not me. <laughs>
Okay. Alrighty, that is gonna be the end of the crew battle. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty, good games to both sides. Thank you guys for tuning in. Synergy Burst is gonna take this one 4 0. Ta, that MVP here, taking six whole stocks. MVPs of Chopped and Crude, of course, being extreme and abysmal from earlier. That Yoshi of the Ness taking three apiece. Hold on to both sides. Synergy Burst again, winning 4 0. Taking that last game, Ta over Lauren. Again, well played. And to you guys, this viewers, for watching, I appreciate you guys. This stuff is fun to me. I like doing this, so thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me do it. And once I find... Here we go. And with that out of the way, I will see you guys... Later.